Hello and welcome to How to Play Clue, the board game and app. And this is a beginner lesson for anybody who's really always wanted to just learn how to play the game Clue for the first time. I'm going to teach you on the app, but the board game is exactly the same. I actually think this app is a really great app and it also really helps. Um, if you've never played Clue before, um, let's start right from the beginning. Clue is a board game that has a murder mystery. Imagine six people are in a house There's and one of them killed somebody. Your job is to find out which of the six people did it as well as what weapon did they use and it's six weapons to choose from and what room did they do it in and there's nine rooms to choose from and let's learn how to play the game. I'm hitting play, new game, and here are your six characters. Not only you get to choose which character you're going to play, but not only do you get to choose which character you're going to play, these are also the six suspects. Now the fact that you're playing these characters doesn't matter. Um, it's not like you personally have to guess yourself. So let's pick a character. I'm going to be Mustard. And these are the other characters. And we're going to be a first timer, so we're going to put everybody on easy. And this is a full game with six players. Um, and we're actually not going to learn with six players. Let's just learn with four players. So, me plus three others, all on the easy mode, start the game. Here we go. Now, the way it works is there is a card for each person six cards, six weapons cards, and nine room cards. So what you do is you take one suspect card, one weapon card, and one room card, they're the cards, and you put one from each into this mystery envelope and remove the envelope. Now you distribute all of the cards to everybody and if you look on the bottom where it says you, there I am, Colonel Mustard, and I can click on Colonel Mustard, and these are the cards that I have. Now, I have five cards, but everybody has five cards. If you look at the top, you see Orchid has f f uh, cards, Green has cards, and Scarlet has cards. Now, we all have the cards that, you, that have been distributed. The only three cards missing is the three cards in that envelope. One suspect card in that envelope, which is missing one weapon card in that envelope was missing, and one room card in that envelope was missing. So basically the goal is to find out what everybody else has in their cards. And if, once you find out what cards everybody has, you find out which card nobody has, and therefore that's the suspect. And, the, and if the one weapon card that nobody has, that's the weapon. And the room card nobody has, that's the room. So I can tell you that looking at what I have, None of these suspects, Peacock or Plum, are the suspect. The lead pipe is not the weapon, and it was not done in the kitchen in the study. If you look on the right, you'll see that number five with a little pen. You're also given, and this is, by the way, the same, it, it, exactly the same as the board game. You're given a piece of paper and a pencil, and on the notepad, it lists all six suspects. There they are, green, mustard, orchid, peacock, and plum, scarlet. All the cho weapon choices, candlestick, dagger, lead pipe, revolver, wrench, and all the nine room choices, ballroom, billiard room, conservatory, dining room, hall, kitchen, library, lounge, and study. And your job is to use this to make notes as you go around and play the game, which I'm going to show you in a second how to do it, asking people questions to see what cards they have or don't have so that you can figure out what's in those mystery envelopes to figure out who was the suspect, what is the weapon, and what is the room. Now you'll see that there's already on this app red lines across a few things like Mrs. Peacock, and Professor Plum, the lead pipe, and the kitchen, and the study. And that's because the app is really smart and they've gone ahead and they've taken the five cards that I have and they've already said, well, let's cross those out because obviously those cannot be the suspects or the weapons of the room because you have the cards. The goal is to find out what cards are in the envelope. What cards does nobody have? So let's start playing the game and figure out how to do that. And you can watch 
And this is really simple, basic stuff. I have another video on really advanced uh, strategies on how to really win this game. But this is just how to play. You start by rolling the dice, and I start in the middle. You see that's me in the middle, in the orange, in the yellow. And I get to go to a room based on the dice I have. So I rolled a six and a one. And you can see that I can go to any of the rooms that lit up, because that's seven uh, moves. Maybe um, if you've got a lower um, dice roll, you might not be able to get to the room you want. So in this case, I might as well go. I can look at my thing again. I want to go to a room that I don't have. Well, I have the kitchen, and I have the study, because those have red lines in it. So I don't want to go there. I already know that those aren't the right rooms. So in this case, I'm going to go maybe to the ballroom at the very top, since I don't have a ballroom card. And who knows? Maybe that's the way that it works. So as you go to a room, what you do is you make an accusation. And it always goes in a circle. So I'm going to declare, I think it was this person with this weapon in, in, this, in this room, the ballroom. And I'm in the ballroom, so you have to be in the room that you're going to ask about. And I ask, um, starting to my left, if they have any of these cards. And if they have a card, they have to show me. And if they don't have a card, they don't have to show me. So I'm going to go guess that it was, and again, I'm not going to guess Mrs. Peacock or Mr. Professor Plum. I already have that. So let's guess Mr. Green. And I'm also going to ask everybody if it was the candlestick. So you see here, Green Candlestick Ballroom. The, this is what I'm throwing out there. I want to know who has these cards? I don't have these cards. So who has these cards? I'm going to hit the suggest button. And if you look at the top, you're going to notice um, little X's or little check marks. And, I'll t and it's as if you're going around asking each person around the table if they have these cards. Starting with the left, Mrs. Orchid. I hit suggest. She gives me a check mark, meaning she has a card. And that's one of the cards that she has. Now, when I click this card, I get to see it. And what's important to know is that nobody else at the table sees this card. Mr. Green and Mr. Scarlet, who are also playing this game, you see them on the top there, they don't know what card I'm being shown. Ah, so she has the candlestick. Okay. Now, I now can go, before I end my turn, let's go and look. What I've, what I've The app has automatically crossed off the candlestick because they now know that that can't be one of the cards in the mystery envelope because she just showed it to me. And now I end my turn, and I'm going to watch everyone go around the room. Now it's Orchid's turn. She's rolling. You see on her um, icon in the top left, there's a question mark, meaning she's the one who's going to ask a question. So she now goes to the ballroom, and she's going to ask Peacock and Rope, and ballroom and she asked it to Mr. Green and you see Mr. Green has a check mark there and you saw he showed her a card now I don't know what card he showed her but it does mean that he has either peacock the rope or the ballroom and I don't know what card he, she showed him so in the more advanced games these are clues to help you figure out um, what cards everybody has in this particular case, we move on. It's Mr. Green's turn. He's going to roll, and he's going to go to a room, and he's going to make an accusation. And this is how the whole game is played. You go to a room, and you make an accusation. So he went to the billiard room. He's guessing Orchid with a lead pipe in the billiard room. So he asks to his, in a circle, so he asks Mrs. Scarlet first. And as you see, there's an X there, meaning she didn't have any of the cards. Now it's my turn, and I do have a card. <clears throat> the game is showing me automatically what card I have, so I have to touch it and watch. I privately show Mr. Green that I have the lead pipe. He sees it. Nobody else sees it. He puts it away. Now before I end the turn, I'm going to just show you um, what's happened here on my cheat sheet, because you'll notice by knowing that Mrs. Scarlet didn't have anything, my cheat sheet... Because she didn't have Orchid, it put a little X, meaning Mrs. Scarlet doesn't have Orchid. And if you look down here, there's no X on the lead pipe, because I have that. But Mrs. Scarlet didn't have the billiard room, so there's a little X there. And it's important to listen, not when it's your turn, 
to other people taking turns because what you you can learn information about what people don't have. <clears throat> Remember, you're trying to find the weapon card, the suspect card, and the room card that nobody has. So when somebody says, I don't have anything, that's hugely important to know. Mrs. Scarlet rolls a low number, a three. I don't even think it, she has enough to get into a room. So that's the end of her turn. Now it's my turn. Now this is interesting. You can never stay in a room again. I was in the ballroom. Therefore, I now have to leave the ballroom and go to another room. If I wanted to ask again about the ballroom, I'd have to leave it and then come back. So I've rolled. I rolled a high number. It looks like I can go to any of the rooms. Let me look at my cheat sheet and decide what room I want to go into. Um, the way this app works is if you the room is highlighted in that gold bar, that means those are rolls that are those are rooms you can get into because you have enough of a dice roll. Well, let's see. I might go to the billiard room because I now know Scarlet doesn't have the billiard room. I'd like to know if Orchid or Green has the billiard room. Perhaps nobody has the billiard room, in which case I know that's the room. <coughs> okay, so now I'm here in the billiard room. I have to accuse, and it's going to go in the same circle as it did before. I have to pick a person. I have to pick a weapon. And let's see. I still don't know who uh, it could be. I know it's not Peacock and Plum, because so yeah, I, I have those two cards. I do know, though, that it's not the candlestick. And I know it's not the lead pipe. So let's try to guess again Dr. Orchid and see if anyone has that card. And let's try the dagger and see if anyone has that card. So I choose Orchid. I choose the dagger. And now I'm going to suggest, and it's going to go around the room again in the same circle. First, Orchid will tell me if she has one of those cards. She does. Which card does she want to show me? I touch it. The billiard room. So she does have the billiard room. And I can come back here to my cheat sheet and see that it's automatically crossed off. You'll see the little green check mark because um, that that's Orchid's column and then therefore there's X's in the other ones because obviously they don't have those. Okay, so now we're going to continue around the room. But what are we learning? We're now learning we've got three rooms that we know um, are not the rooms that the murder was, take, was happening in. End turn, let's watch other people take their turns now. So Dr. Orchid takes a turn, and this is the game. You, we keep going around until somebody is going to make an accusation at the very end of the game and win. She's suggesting Plum with a dagger in the conservatory, and Mr. Green has a card, but we don't know what card he showed her. So um, we'll keep going. What you really want is somebody who shows who doesn't have cards, and then you know if that person doesn't have a card, that's really important. So Green is in the conservatory, and he says, Mustard with the rope in the conservatory, and she shows a card. Okay. So we're, we didn't get a whole lot of information watching uh, other people play because everyone seems to have cards. So here we go in the dining room. Orchid with the rope in the dining room. We have none of those cards, but Orchid in the top left does. So let's continue. Now it's our turn again. And let's roll the dice and see what room we can go to. Now one thing I want you to know is that if you're in a room that's in the corner, there are secret, secret passageways. So let's, by the way, look at our rooms. Based on our roll, we could go back to the ballroom, we could go to the conservatory, the library, or the lounge. Now right now, um, uh, so let's go to the lounge, lower left, and you'll see that I go through a secret passageway, so the upper right corner has a secret passageway to the lower left corner, and also the same is um, true the other way. There's secret passageways. So in the lounge, I'm going to guess Orchid again and Dagger again. Let's see if somebody has it. Orchid and Dagger. It'll go in the same circle. Let's see what Orchid says. Do you have a card? No, she does not. But Mr. Green does. He has the dagger. Okay, so let's put it on our cheat sheet. First of all, you see an X now 
because we now know that Dr. Orchid does not have the card, Dr. Orchid. We see the dagger has been crossed out because we now just learned that Mr. Green has it. But now we've figured out we're down to three possible weapons left, revolver, wrench, and rope. And we still haven't learned much about the uh, rooms, but we now know that Orchid does not have the lounge card. So maybe that's interesting. Now let's watch other people play, and hopefully we can learn some more information. Now, in the advanced level, I'm telling you that there is a way to watch other people play and really figure more information out. And I'm not going through it in this how to play level. You definitely want to learn about um, the advanced level because you're going to realize that watching other people play really, really allows you to think deeply and come up with some good, good answers on how to win this game. I really think if you get this, you should immediately move on to the how to play harder clue. Um, okay, so it's my turn. I have to show a card. Plum. Scarlet didn't have any cards, which is interesting to know. So let's look here. Scarlet didn't have Plum. Well, I know she didn't have Plum. I had it. But she also didn't have the rope. So now there's an X there. And, well, I had the billiard room. So, or we knew um, Orchid had the billiard room. But at least we got a little information out of that. So now it's Scarlet's turn. Let's see what she wants to ask. Where does she want to go? So she's going to go to the billiard room. Well, we know that uh, someone has the billiard room. We've already seen it. And they're asking green and rope. And if you look, we now, just to go to the card, here's an interesting piece of information. She asked for green. I, we didn't have it. She asked for rope. We didn't have it. But she asked for billiard room. And you see the checkbox here? Dr. Orchid, we know, had it. She already showed it to us. So most likely, Dr. Orchid did show the same card to Scarlet. And that's just a hint of how you can start to learn by watching other people play, perhaps what they have and what they don't have. All right, it's our turn to roll again. And it's a good thing we're not getting any low numbers. I hate getting a, um, a number so low that you can't even get to a room and even have a chance to make a guess. So here's our room choices that we can get into based on our role. Conservatory, dining room, or hall. Let's pick the dining room. And let's see. So far, we know two of the three people don't have Dr. Orchid. And we know somebody doesn't have the rope. Let's find out once and for all. Let's go Dr. Orchid and rope and see um, if maybe we can get, get lucky here. Dr. Orchid and rope. Suggest. Oh, what do you have? The dining room. And just to show you again, now we've crossed off the dining room. There you go. We'll continue. End turn. So, it's Dr. Orchid's turn. Let's pay closer attention and see if we can learn something here. Well, dining room, we know she has the dining room. Okay. So, Dr. Orchid, this is, now this is a good little strategy lesson. Dr. Orchid said peacock rope dining room. But what we know is that she just showed us the dining room. So she actually bluffed and she actually is guessing something where she has her own card. She already knows. Why would she guess the dining room and go to the dining room when she has that card? Well, the answer is because she's going to bluff and try to fool other people into thinking perhaps that's the card. Um, certainly, Green and Scarlet probably don't know she has the dining room card yet, so maybe they're thinking that's a possibility. But because she showed us the dining room, we know she has the dining room. But if you think hard here, she also showed them Peacock and Scarlet, which they don't have, and they also don't have the rope. So I'm going to have to show her Peacock, but I want to go to my cheat sheet and show you something now. We still don't know about Dr. Orchid, but we now know that... Unless she was also bluffing around the rope, most likely the rope is the weapon because two of the three people don't ha have it and we don't have it. The same thing with the dining, and, and here we are with the dining room. So now I'm starting to think we're, it's looking like unless somebody has that or Dr. Orchid card or somebody has that rope card, those are probably two of the cards in the mystery envelope. 
We just have to find the figure out the room more. Oh, well, here's the dining room. And we know Dr. Orchid has that dining room card. So let's see what happens. Okay, this is, this is another interesting thing. So Scarlet showed Green a card. Well, we know she didn't show the dining room card because we just have learned before Orchid had that dining room card. So if you come down here, it means that she either showed her Scarlet or she showed her the revolver. So let's keep going and let's see what else we can learn. Now, this is part of the, uh, when you watch my advanced video, you'll see that type of information can become very valuable and you can learn to make really advanced notes on your piece of paper that will really let you figure out what's going on. Okay, so she's guessed Peacock Dagger Kitchen and I actually have two of those cards. I'll show her the kitchen. Okay, so it's our turn again. Let's roll the dice and see what rooms we can get to based on our roll. Or if we're in a corner, we could always go through the secret passageway to go to the other diagonal corner. Let's see what our choices are. Well, based on our roll, we can go back to the ballroom, we can go to the hall, or we can go back to the lounge. I'm going to suggest we go back to the lounge since we have one X in it what well, means one person doesn't have it we know we don't have it let's find out if one of the other people have it and then as far as the suspects we're still thinking Dr. Orchid because we know two people don't have it there and rope we're thinking maybe um, Orchid doesn't have the rope so let's go Dr. Orchid with the rope and in the lounge, let's cross our fingers, nobody has any of these cards, because if everybody doesn't have these cards, then we know what's in that mystery envelope. She doesn't, he doesn't, but she does. And what does she have? She has the lounge. Great. Well, before we move ahead, I want to show you our cheat sheet now, because now that we've learned that nobody has the Dr. Orchid card, we now know 100% in that mystery envelope, the suspect, the killer, is Dr. Orchid. <clears throat> and we also guessed the rope, and we now learn that all three do not have that rope. So therefore we know it was Dr. Orchid with the rope. The question is, in what room? Now we've crossed off quite a few rooms, so there's only four rooms left to choose from. The ballroom, conservatory, hall, or library. So hopefully we'll watch the rest of the players play, and by the time we come around to our next turn, we'll have figured out which of those four rooms it is, and then we can make the final accusation and win the game. So let's watch everybody else. Well, she's still in the lounge. Okay. And she's making guesses. Everyone else is still trying to figure this information out. But we... We already know. It's now up to us to figure out which room it is. We don't want to tell people we know who the murderer was and who the and what the weapon is. Keep that to ourselves. Let's figure out the room. So she's going to the kitchen. Well, we know we have the kitchen, so that's going to be good news. We can throw people off the, the path. Well, I have to tell them I have the kitchen. Okay, now it's going to be Scarlet's turn again we've got to figure out which of those remaining four rooms would possibly be it. The billiard room she's going to go to. Okay. Let's see. Well, I, th I think we already know who has the billiard room. That's right, she did. So it's our turn again. But before we do, let's come down here and say that we know the ballroom, the conservatory, the hall, or the library. We want to get to one of those four rooms and if we can get to one of those four rooms and nobody has those cards, then we know we've won. Oh, I hate low rolls. I hope we can get to a room. Please tell me we can get to one of the rooms that we don't have. Yes, you see that conservatory. So let's go back to the conservatory. And let's, and now that we're in the conservatory, let's ask Dr. Orchard. We know no one will have it. Let's ask Rope. We know no one will have it. Dr. Orchard. Rope. Let's cross our fingers. Nobody has the conservatory. And if they don't, we can make a final accusation and win the game. Nobody has it. So therefore, let's come back to our cheat sheet. You'll see the conservatory. 
three X's. That's it. Continue to the final accusation. You see on the bottom here? Be careful. If you get this wrong, the game's over. I'm going to make a declaration. I know who did it. In that envelope, I'm going to guess it's Dr. Orchid. I'm going to guess it's the rope. And I'm going to guess it's the conservatory. Based on my cheat sheet, that's what I know. Here's the final accused. We're going to open the mystery envelope and see if I'm right. Orchid. Rope. Conservatory. I win! Well done. I've solved the crime. That's the entire game of Clue. Uh, for a first-timer, it was really basic. I hope you don't... If you have any questions, absolutely let me know. I'll try to answer it. If you really, though, want to learn how to play Clue to beat your friends every time, watch my other video on how to play Clue, the advanced level. I will teach you tons of strategies to teach you how to beat all your friends on the hardest levels every time. Bye-bye.